so holding the violin bow can be a challenging beginning step. Please understand that this is normally a challenge. Everyone feels the same way at this point, but the good news is you will get it. And soon, with enough practice, your muscles will understand what they're supposed to do, and you will be able to concentrate on making music. So let's take the 30 minute challenge. Take the 30 minute challenge for one week. 30 minutes a day is a lot for some people, but if you break it down into small segments, you can get it. Also, practice for one TV episode. You know, um, as long as you're focused on what you're doing, then that can help. So get comfortable, relax, and let's do it. Okay, so the bow hand. What we're gonna be doing is basically four steps that we need to remind ourselves with. Number one, quiet coyote. This is your right hand. So the bent thumb, the quiet coyote likes to eat. And he'll eat anything he can. So he comes up to the violin bow. And you see that spot right there? This is the frog. And this is the stick. Where they meet is where his teeth are going to go. That's his bent thumb. So he's going to bite the stick. Let's do slow motion. Womp, 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 womp. Where'd it go? Here we go. <laughs> and he bites the stick and the fingers hang over. All right, so we have our bent thumb. And our two middle fingers are hanging over, just chilling. Now we take our big knuckle and we put it on this part here, put it on the stick. And now we take our pinky and our wrist. We're going to tilt our wrist and our pinky is going to hang out on the stick. Sort of like a ballerina dancing on the ice rink. Okay, so keep it curved and keep it relaxed. All right, so then finally, what you're gonna do is take your violin bow, put it parallel to the bridge, and as you pull, you wanna bend your wrist because you would like to keep this parallel to the bridge. So you're gonna bring it out, and as you do, that's a down bow, you're going to bend that wrist. And then as you come in, you adjust by bending your wrist the other way. Shoulder, that doesn't swing. That doesn't swing. You want to practice just moving out as far as you can. If you have to start bending out like this, then you've gone too far. Don't go that far. So you go out as far as your arm can before you twist here. So your wrist bends to help keep it parallel and you bring it back. All right, now when we start up here and pull away, it's called a down bow. So this is a down bow and this is an up bow. Okay, now a couple of things to be aware of. Make sure your thumb is bent. Make sure your pinky's on top and your wrist is slightly tilted. Like that. Let's see. You can also practice if, if you want to practice getting your wrist loose. You can take your violin bow in front of you and slowly bring it down. Pretend you can put a, a plate of raviolis with meatballs and spaghetti sauce or whatever you prefer. And you're slowly bringing it up. And your wrist does bend. And then you slowly bring it down, but don't drop the food. Slowly bring it up. And then slowly bring it down. Okay. Uh, if you get squeaky sounds, Make sure that you're parallel to the bridge. 
if you start to, to turn your shoulder and you're not parallel, it will cause it cause your violin bow to squeak. Also, contrary to what you might think, when you go slower because it sounds bad, it will sound even more bad. <laughs> so you want to keep the bow speed, keep it up, and um, it will uh, it will grip and make more of a musical sound. So if you're timid and you slow down a little bit because you're like, oh no, it's not going to sound good or it doesn't sound good, then it's going to continue to not sound good. So you have to have enough bow pressure and enough bow speed. And by the way, your bow strength comes from your knuckle and your thumb. So that's where all the strength comes from. If you put it on the bow and go like this, have your fingers out, you could still actually play, you know, well, it's just not going to be controlled and it's definitely not what you want to do. But, but that's where the power comes from, right there. It's from being on the string, big knuckle, and bent thumb, and pulling. I'm bringing that back up. That's where you get your strength. Okay, so I hope this helps. And I can't wait to have class and we can try it some more. Have a good day.